Hello everyone, Jacqueline here, and uh, this month for May for HS Thrival Magazine, we're going to be doing a full body core workout. So I hope you enjoy it. Happy May, and let's get at it. So uh, what we're going to start with is you can add this to a weight workout at the end, or you can take some of the moves and put them in between. So we'll go through everything twice. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a V-sit. So I want you to pull your shoulder blades back, core is nice and tight, flex your feet, they're on the floor. You're gonna lean back, engage the core, keep the shoulder blades back, arms are out, and you're gonna reach down and touch, open up through the chest. We're gonna go for 20, five, six. This is level one, so we'll all start with level one to warm up. 9, 10, going for 20, 11, 12. Do not let your shoulders slope forward. Keep your core tight. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. So now we're going to get onto the floor. You're going to put your feet underneath your knees. You're going to have your core nice and tight, your hands are on the floor, you're going to lift into a bridge, squeeze that bum. So for a challenge, you can have your arms up, you can have them at your elbows, or you can have them on the floor. We'll do level one first, we'll do the harder round the second time around. So keeping your core really tight, your glutes are squeezed tight, you're going to take each leg up for 20, three, four, five. This enables you to work your back body. Seven, keep squeezing the bum. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Keep your hips square. 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. So now we're going to roll over onto our sides and we're going to do a side, elbow, legs are bent 90 degrees and you're going to reach and crunch, two, elbow to knee, three, four, we're going to do 15 per side, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, extend, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we're going to switch sides, turning around to the other side, bending your elbow 90 degrees, elbow, your knee 90 degrees, elbow right under the shoulder, and out, in, 2, 3, 4, Five. The sun's coming in the window. <laughs> I try to get these videos done in the morning. 10, 11, 12. Pushing into the floor with your bottom leg. And 15. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to go into a dead bug. So lying back on the floor. 90 degrees, hands on your knees, tabletop legs, out and in, out and in, extend the leg all the way out and in, you do not have to raise your head off the floor, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Your goal is not to have your stomach come off the floor at all. So you're squeezing belly button to spine. Let's do the other side. And one, two, three, four. Push against that leg, keep the knee over the hip. 
That is the ideal way to do this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna turn over onto our elbows and we're gonna come into a plank. So from your plank, you're gonna take leg out and in for 20, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take the knees down, give yourself a stretch, and coming to the second round. So here we go again. Sitting in your V-sit. Shoulder blades are down, so making sure you're on your, not on your, pushing your sits bones. Shoulder blades are back, rolling back, nice and tight. Arms are up, open. Two, three, four, five. Lift the legs, that makes it harder. Make sure your hips are not flying around and you're still opening up. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that was level two. So for the next one on your back, working the back body, I'm trying to do all the different levels here for you. Feet right under your knees. If you have your legs out further, you're gonna be working your hamstrings. The goal here is glutes, back body, core. So here we go. I'm gonna take my arms up. Squeeze that bum and one, two, three, you don't rush through this. I want you to feel all the muscles in the back. Your legs, nine, 10, your core, 11, 12. This is a neck friendly set. 15, 16, 17, 18. That means no crunches. And 20, squeeze the bum, pull it down. Excellent. Onto the side. So, nice big extension from the knees, legs extended, in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You make sure you do not sag into your shoulder. Keep it nice and tight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. And other side. So, making sure you're lined up. And one, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Interestingly enough, this side, my left side, I felt that a little bit more. Okay, so now we've done side, front, time for our dead bugs, and then the plank. Okay? So all of these things, like I said, neck friendly. Shoulders are back on the floor, core is nice and tight. Lift one leg up, tabletop. Hands on, nice and tight. Same, up, same arm, same leg. You're gonna take it down, extend all the way down, come back. So I want you to push against that other leg. You keep that core as tight as you can. <sighs> 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 
nine, 10. What's the tummy doing? You're not supposed to be moving your back. It comes to tabletop and back. 14, 15, other side. One, two, you can flex or point, it's up to you. I like to flex. I feel it more when I do on the up, the leg that's pushing. And 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Give your knees a little hug, gently rock side to side. Now we're gonna flip on over and we're gonna do our plank. So, shoulder blades are down, elbows on the floor, hands. I spread mine out, it doesn't matter. You can hold them like this, however you're comfortable. Tuck your toes, tuck your tummy, squeeze your bum, hover. So this is a hover plank. And one, two, three, four. Tap to the side. You don't have to if you have a hard time holding the plank. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Neck in line with the spine. And 20. Take your knees down. Give yourself a little stretch. And there you have it. So you can do that two rounds or three rounds. You'll feel your core the next day. It's perfectly safe for the neck. It's full body. The entire core is being worked. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a fantastic day. And thank you so much for tuning in. It'd be really nice if you could hit the subscribe button so that you get notice whenever our videos come out. And each month is always different. Happy May, happy Mother's Day to those mothers out there. And it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So best of wishes, have a great month. Bye for now from Ageless Thrival.